Hi there, my name is Roy Dunn. I'm a professional photographer and I'm here at Cognosis and I'm going to demonstrate to you that using the Cognosis Stop Shot remote control system, just how easy it is to capture an image of a balloon in mid-burst. So we're going to create a high-speed flash illuminated image of a balloon right in mid-burst. Very, very simple to do. And the heart of how we're going to do it is the Cognosis Stop Shot controller here. And you saw in the other video how easy and quick it is to set up to use flash for illumination using a microphone as a triggering device. And so we're, very, we're going to do exactly the same thing here. We're going to hook a microphone into the microphone input and then take a very standard flash unit and hook it up the way we did before into the trigger one output such that when I clap my hands or make a noise, you see the flash goes off. You probably see it illuminating my face essentially instantaneously once I clap my hands. Now, if I'm going to use this technique to capture a balloon in mid-burst, there's a few things we need to understand. Uh, I know for a fact that a balloon takes roughly one five hundredth of a second to completely burst. If we prick it in the front, in one five hundredth of, of a second, it's completely disintegrated. One five hundredth of a second is two one thousandths of a second or two milliseconds. Milliseconds are one thousandth of a second increments. So if I manage to fire the flash one millisecond after the sound occurs, I'm going to get the balloon halfway exploded. And that's what we're aiming for. So how on earth did we calculate that? Well, Another really nice aspect of physics is that sound travels in air at approximately 1,000 feet per second at sea level, approximately. So what does that tell me? It travels 1,000 feet per second or one foot per thousandth of a second or one foot per millisecond. What did I say before about with the balloon taking two milliseconds to completely undo? If we want to capture it at one millisecond, if I place the microphone about one foot from where the balloon bursts, we'll get that one millisecond delay. The flash will fire as the balloon is opening. Now this technique that we're going to be using is called the open flash technique. And what it requires is no ambient light and the only illumination for the exposure comes from the flash. The reason we need to do that is because of a constraint we have called shutter lag. We can't be quick enough with our camera shutter to fire the camera, open the shutter, watch the balloon burst, and then close the shutter. Simply because, remember I said the balloon bursts in two milliseconds. When we hit the shutter button of our camera, it takes something like 40 or 50 milliseconds between us pressing the camera button, the shutter button, and the shutter actually opening. So I could have, you know, the balloon has burst and long since disappeared by the time the shutter of the camera opens. So what we do instead is we use open flash technique. We have zero or very little ambient light. We open the camera shutter. Because there's no ambient light, there's no exposure being made. The flash goes off the instant the balloon bursts and we release the shutter and we get our exposure. So we're going to put that into practice, but first I'm going to demonstrate roughly what we'll see. And I'm going to very bravely hold this balloon right by my head and I'm going to prick the balloon and the guys here are going to be operating the camera and the lights for us in the background. But essentially what's going to happen is this. You can see the microphone, I'm placing it on the table and it is approximately one foot away from the balloon such that when it goes bang, you'll see the flash go off and that's what's going to create our exposure. So let's try that with the lights off. And I'm, as we turn the lights down, you'll see the camera is going to, there's not much ambient light if you can see me at all, but I'm gonna go bang, 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 you can see that I'm actually being exposed. So now, this is a timing thing. Um, we're going to very quickly open the shutter in bulb mode. As soon as that shutter's open, I'm going to burst the balloon and then the shutter will close and we'll create an exposure. One, two, three. And you can probably see the expression on my face, the balloon going off in my left ear, but hopefully um, you can see the balloon is about halfway uh, un, un, unblown as it were. And if we think about it, 
we can use the position of the microphone as a very accurate timing mechanism to figure out, wow, what if I want to capture an image of the balloon only just as it's beginning to burst? So let's try that. We'll do it again. And this time I'm going to hold the microphone in my fingers very, very close to the balloon. So this time when I prick the balloon, the exposure will be made probably only oh, you know, far less than a millisecond. So the balloon will be only just opening up as I prick it. So if we turn the lights off again, we'll do a test exposure, bang, it's still going. So now this time I'm going to try and prick the balloon just above the microphone so we can see. One, two, three. If we turn the lights on once more, because I need to find my stuff, one more balloon. I'm going to put the microphone further away now so that the balloon will almost be entirely unraveled by the time that sound gets to it. So it's going to be approximately two feet away from the balloon now, and we'll try one more time for our third exposure, and hopefully this time we'll see the balloon completely unraveled. So one, two, three. And with a bit of luck, you'll see that that image is, is what we expected. And it's that simple. And this is a really great fun fundraising thing. If you want to shoot photographs of people bursting balloons right by their face for a dollar at a time, it's really fun. Kids love doing it. As the last example, we know that physics is a beautiful thing. Well, so is the stop shot and the stop shot gives you absolute precision timing capability in terms of programming delays so you're not adjusting microphones by inches or feet or whatever but here we have a controller where we can dial precision down to literally tens of microseconds so what for the, what i'm going to do for this last demonstration is have the microphone right next to the balloon which is going to hear the explosion instantaneously, but we're going to dial a two millisecond delay into the stop shot. So rather than time traveling to the microphone, the delay is actually going to be incorporated by the stop shot, two millisecond delay. So let's see what we get this time. One, two, three. So you can use microphone positioning for timing or more precisely you can dial in delays into the stop shot very very conveniently via these up down buttons uh, incrementing the delay or decrementing the delay etc. It's a very very configurable and easy to use system and thanks a bunch for watching. My ear hurts. <laughs>